Hello and welcome to BusyWorksBeats.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make some R&B melodies using chords as a foundation. A lot of people look over chords. You know, if this were like graphic design, people look at gradients as if they're just an option. But gradients are what make things look more natural and sound more appealing. You know, if you look at just red, it's cool to look at just red. But if you look at red to maroon, that subtle shade difference adds depth and dynamic to what you're looking at. So that's the equivalency when we're talking about, you know, uh, gradients and solid colors and melodies and chords. They go hand in hand and you have to understand the correlation between the two. You need to know what colors go together, for example, to make good combinations. If you put brown and you know, green together, it's probably not going to come out looking that cool uh, or any color with brown in that case. So what we're going to do is go to Hermes. We're going to pull up some sounds. And then I'm going to show you a technique first starting with chords. So let's just use some chord stamps to save it a little bit of time with um, trying to map out things. So let's just do a minor seven. Let's do a uh, what is it called a six add nine chord. MG of the Future showed me that. So thank you for that. And let's go to a minor seven. We like to keep it minor seven for R&B stuff. So let's hear what it sounds like so far. And just we're going to play the same chord on the second half. We're just going to rearrange these notes. So hit Alt G when you use chord uh, uh, stamps. And then we're going to pull down the fifth or you could pull down the seventh or both. Let's try both first. Sounds pretty cool. So I'll leave that voicing. So now that we have the chords structured, we want to make this feel like someone is playing them. So this is really simple. Once you understand chords, again, you can create melody from the chords. So let's let's start moving notes around. So the easiest way is to play fifths in your root note at the same time, and then play the other notes at a different time. So A and E are gonna be the, the root note A, and the fifth is called E in that case. Uh, we teach all this stuff in the Music Theory Essentials, so if you're wondering what I'm talking about, we explain it there. Um, so, so you have to make sense of the notes. Sometimes going up doesn't make sense, so you go down. And sometimes going down doesn't make sense, so you go up. So we're going to do a vice versa. And it also depends on how many notes you have in the chord. This chord has four notes, the next chord has five notes, so the question is which notes do you play at the same time and which notes do you move around? So we're gonna play uh, the root note in the fifth and the fifth has another fifth called G in this case. So we're playing fifths of two different notes. So we're gonna play all these together because they're fifths of each other. So F, the fifth of that is C and then the fifth of C is G. So we're gonna play those notes together and move around the other notes. So I'm gonna just move this note over one and then move that one over there. Okay, so now we're creating a melodic flow to this chord. Now again, you can change it to sound different depending on the genre. I'm just showing you quick little things you could do without thinking that hard. So again, it's just leaving the root note in the fifth and then moving around those other notes to be more animated. And all I'm doing is pulling these over a beat or two. Now in this case, this isn't the fifth. Um, and that's my mistake because I forgot we inverted so many notes. So the root note was E in this case. So E, B would be the fifth. So we should play these at the same time. Oh, yeah, we did E and B. And then D would be the seventh. And G would be the third. So these need to swap positions here. But technically, the voicing is in a different octave. So we feel like we're going down as opposed to up. But tonally, we're going to keep it mathematical. Mathematical. And now at this point, you can figure out how to make it sound more R&B-esque by adding like slide notes. See that simple slide note added that R&B attitude to it. So let's add these in. Let's move this one up. See that little tiny swing note, little glide note, whatever you wanna Identify it as creates a whole different vibe for this. Okay, so that's how we do it. 
Now that was a very simple voicing exercise, but again, it starts with the chord. That's the main thing I'm trying to show you here. Let's transpose this up to a different key. I'm gonna swap out the sound. Let's go to Dark Trap. And let's pick a guitar, let's pick this. So we could always pull it up. Might be too bright. Then you add your filters. And then you could just morph the sound how you want at this point. Add that Drake kind of filter to it. Okay, so that's what adds emotion to it, but it all starts with chords. So if you want to learn more, just go to busyworksbeats.com slash music theory. Thanks for watching. It's Game from busyworksbeats.com.